um, news from the um, Ghanaian Ukraine returnees has reached our ears. Um, you know some of those who rushed um, back to Ghana after the incident uh, between Russia and Ukraine? We're talking about those um, Ghanaians that were living in Ukraine, especially the students. Um, some of them are saying <sighs> it looks like they made a big mistake by coming back to Ghana. This is because of the recent happenings in the nation, which to them um, was not what they expected to come back to meet. Now, I want you to know that these are people who um, some moved on their own and some were evacuated from Ukraine. Yeah, um, some of some of them um, were there for work purposes and some were there for profits. But things didn't go the way they expected to. So, yeah, for um, from all those um, different people who are all from Ukraine, um, some of them have come out to say that they've really regretted, you know, their decision of coming back to Ghana. Uh, most of them came back because of the Russia-Ukraine war. Um, they didn't want to, you know, um, get involved in anything dangerous, so they came down. And even according to some of the group of um, students which we spoke to um they also um came back because of the war but then um what is um according to them what is um not too pleasing to them is that they want to make their frustrations known because um the economy is not going the way they expected it to be Acad apart from that some of them claim they have not received the promises that were made to them before they left so you know some some of them were we're not really in the mood to leave Ukraine, though there was war there and all. They were not, you know, really in the mood to leave and come back. But there were some promises made to them that when you come back to Ghana, this and this is going to be so for you and that and that is going to be there for you because we are trying to preserve Ghanaian lives. So, yeah, that was what they had. Now, um, what, what is amazing is that um, one of them who's um, part of a certain... Um, Ghanaian students, you know, um, um, body in Ukraine um, has come out to even say that um, um, when they first had a couple of meetings initially, um, the government made them understand that um, they were going to help them, and, you know, even um, in this period that they are waiting in Ghana, they were going to secure some schools for them to be attending in the meantime, just to make sure that their brains have not left, you know, the school mood. Um, to wander somewhere else so um, they were very glad um, to hear this because they um, they are very serious about education think about it they leave Ghana to Ukraine just to go and learn whatever they want to go and learn there that they cannot learn here only them they know but um, seriously they, they, they left because um, they, they take education seriously so now that they've come back some of these schools are not being secured for them they're expecting to you know um, be getting some learning from some Legon schools some um, KNUST schools, you know, all these um, schools um, in Ghana, but um, it seems nothing is happening. Um, on the contrary, they are hearing that they are rather removing people from um, the schools. They are hearing about um, some people who have been deferred from KNUST and all that. So, um, now, right now, they are surprised. They are saying, hey, now, what, what have we come back to meet? I thought um, we were coming to meet something good, you know, and that's their, 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 their position, like, right now. And uh, some of them have also... Um, um, shown us that according to their own um, analysis um, things are moving too slow in the country for them and they don't know what is happening you know in ukraine things are just bah, bah, bah. you just want to do this you go here go there the next moment is done no news about it, this levy that levy uh, all those things no 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 they don't uh, do those type of news there you get it but you now they've come here things are and some of them are complaining that they don't like the delay because um they refused to come to Ghana um, um, at first, and it seems it was their best decision, you know, because they, they knew there were some opportunities in Ukraine that they will not get in Ghana. But now it's like it was a mistake for them, according to them. Please, these are not my words, so it's their own words. So um, what we are wondering right now is, should they be taken back to Ukraine? Should we take them back to Ukraine or should we, um, you know, 
just find um, a place for them here to keep all of them in and to uh, make that place be like ukraine for them or no we we, we just trying to find around so what is the way to go you know uh, because um you can't you know um, um, be unhappy about here and, and still be here so um that's what you want to know um, and and when we saw um, what the president of that um, union said uh, we saw that yeah you know the president of the ghana ukraine students board um yeah um he 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 was not um very happy he, he was speaking to the body and you know um he says they don't understand why the government is not playing their part of um, the promises they were given um, when they were told they had to come you know um back to the nation um for their own life's sake and they are going to you know reward them for being obedient for coming back um to the motherland but now it's like um they don't like the motherland anymore mm. Um, they, they don't like some of them are hearing the news of things happening here and then it is not pleasing to them they feel like yo uh, i better stay in ukraine you know uh, you know and, and, and have some of these opportunities because uh, down here in ghana is just some way some way some way that's how some of them are feeling so you know um hey uh, we, t we can't just hope that um we can't but hope that you know things change for the better for them um for 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 there are for there are others too who um who are not students who also have um, come out with complaints that um they don't know why um they are hearing of things like levy because they did not leave ukraine to come and do levy you understand they left ukraine because they claimed according to them they were told they will be given some good um stuff that um they will not be receiving from ukraine as they've come down here to wait um, for things to be better in ukraine in the meantime and now we are hearing levy levy and when the levy is passed you they don't you know exempt them they don't say oh you you are from ukraine so okay you you are now back here so you will not be no 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 they are also going to be so they want to answer why why is all this because if they started hearing things like levy tax to no who knows they'll start asking them for their um, um you know their possessions as well because they didn't plan on you know coming back to pay levy you get it so they don't know why why are we paying levy so the ukraine students you know um uh, and as well as some of the ukraine returnees want to find out yo seriously why are we here why are we back in ghana like seriously what are we doing here that that's their mood right now um and you know when they were evacuated from ukraine um they didn't think this was what was going to be um their case and so um, come on man let's um let's do something for um the ukraine returnees i think we should um, um at least um uh, pray for them um, that uh, things will go the way they want it um, in the country and that um uh, they will go back to ukraine when um, it is right and safe for them um, to do so um, so that we don't lose them so let's pray i think it's a good thing first we pray um, for them okay so lord bless them um, this ukraine returnees to have um things going on well in this nation not for themselves only but for all of us also um and we also pray and ask lord that you, you know uh, you bless um, um you know this nation um ghana uh we pray and ask lord that you know the economy and all the things that are happening in this nation uh, will be favorable to us will be favorable to us the 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 ones who you've blessed to um you know be in this nation uh we thank you lord god almighty we are grateful and we pray and ask that joshua the christ will continue to show that truly um he is from um us and we are from him and we are all one and in one body in the name of joshua the christ amen amen and amen okay so um in the meantime um um, those of you who have prayed, you know you've done your part, we've also done our part. Now it's left to um, um, the rest, to the government and to all those who made those promises to them to uh, fulfill their promises. But whilst that is um, being checked to see if it will be done, um, what do you think? Was it a good thing for the Ukraine um, returnees to have come back? Was it a good thing for them to, you know, come back to see the motherland? Was it a good um should they also also um, um be allowed to pay the e-levy taxes remember if they were in ukraine they will not be paying these taxes so but it's because of us that they've come back right now so now that they are back should, is it right for them to also pay taxes i mean think about it uh if 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 they were in ukraine nobody will come and tell them you have to pay this amount of tax on e-levy or whatever you know yeah, yeah. so is it right for them to pay taxes 
uh, answer those questions also in the comment section below. Okay, thank you very much for listening and have a very nice day.